This is the traditional way of digging, preparing soil in the dry season. <clears throat> you can see it involves a great deal of energy because the soil's the surface is compacted with the grazing of animals. And this has to be done twice a year in a bimodal rainfall system. It is hard work as you can see. Now this is the long pole plough. It has used in Ethiopia where it is called the Maresha. But their plough is made from wood and this one is made from metal pipe as you can see. And is my this is the tool which rips into the ground and makes a slot for the seed to fall into. There are two small wings on either side of the slot and the soil falls over the wings and covers over the seed. And the whole idea is to penetrate very hard conditions such as we have here today. Because these have been trained, fitting them to the yoke, okay, it's not a major problem because they are familiar with this business. This particular version has two handles and the seed container holds the seed which is dropped gradually down the funnel and then goes down, follows, falls down the tube into the ground in the slot created by the share. And there is the seed and it will be covered by the soil. Now you can see, pull, pull, yeah, you see, it pulls this soil, it cuts a slot in the soil, and down that slot will fall the seed. Okay, there we are, and that is what you do by hand. And by dropping it by hand, you get the correct spacing between the plants, okay, as the animal pulls it. And you can see it doesn't take a great deal of effort to pull and so the two animals can easily pull. In fact I've designed and made one that only one animal. Now you can see the spacing which they've dropped by practice. Between each seed is exactly about one foot which is which is what, the, what, what is needed to get the right plant population of 50,000 plants per acre. These seeds need to be covered. We have to get the tool yoked to the animals.
Yeah. There it is going. Yeah. See, when the animals are trained, but no problem. They move comfortable. Yeah. Without. And you see now, as they get familiar. Now you can see yeah. the animals yeah. are walking at the correct spacing yeah. to get two rows yeah. about one meter apart. This animal is known to have some rather <laughs> unfortunate characteristics. And there you can see in one operation, a single operation, right? They are, yeah, they are ripping and planting. And the animals are not under any stress at all. The right hand animal walks near the right hand furrow so the left hand animal this keeps the spacing between the furrows correct which is what we want and this is what the animals are trained to do without hitting or anything like that now you can see that the turning at the ends is not too difficult with other ploughs, which are very heavy, it is very difficult. So they're turning, and now they are in the right place to start going back. And you can see, that in a short time, we have been working a considerable amount of land has been cultivated and planted. The fertilizer has to come, well, we plan to have the fertilizer dribbling by another person, dribbling down the tube into the, mixed with the seed. The tool is the ripper planter, which cuts a slot into the ground, uh, and is very narrow. It is very narrow. Sideways turn is it's very narrow and you can see how it is very narrow so it cuts into into hard soil. It also has two wings and they throw the soil over the seed generally but the chain often helps as well. Okay, um, it is made from actually high carbon steel from an old car spring. The seed, turn it sideways, the seed, the other way, the seed falls down the tube there, there's a tube fitted there and the seed falls down there and onto the, into the groove cut by the by the um, by the chisel can be removed easily by removing that bolt and the tool has been removed the tool which can be fitted it is a ridging body for ridging up potatoes and it has got a tip and upside on the other side is it is made from uh, high carbon steel so that if it's working in sandy conditions which are very abrasive it will not it will not wear okay this is a weeding tool which goes between the rows and is held in place by one bolt in the frame in the same manner and so by removing the bolt you can remove the tool and fit any other tool.